in combinatorial mathematics, an alternating permutation of the set 1, 2, 3, n is an arrangement of those numbers into an order C1, Cn such that no element Ci is between Ci minus 1 and Ci plus 1 for any value of i and C1 less than C2. In other words, Ci less than Ci plus 1 if i is odd and Ci greater than Ci plus 1 if i is even. For example, the five alternating permutations of 1, 2, 3, 4 are 1, 3, 2, 4 because 1 less than 3 greater than 2 less than 4. 1, 4, 2, 3 because 1 less than 4 greater than 2 less than 3. 2, 3, 1, 4 because 2 less than 3 greater than 1 less than 4. 2, 4, 1, 3 because 2 less than 4 greater than 1 less than 3. 3, 4, 1, 2 because 3 less than 4 greater than 1 less than 2. This type of permutation was first studied by Daisy A. Andre in the 19th century. If the condition C1 less than C2 is dropped, so we only require that no element Ci is between Ci minus 1 and Ci plus 1, then the permutation is called a zigzag permutation. By exchanging 1 with n, 2 with n minus 1, etc., each zigzag permutation with C1 greater than C2 can be paired uniquely with an alternating permutation, related integer sequences. The determination of the number and of alternating permutations of the set 1 n is called Andre's problem. If zinc denotes the number of zigzag permutations of 1 n, then it is clear from the pairing given above that zinc equals 2 and for n 2, the numbers are known as Euler zigzag numbers or up-down numbers. The first few values of n are 1, 1, 1, 2, 5, 16, 61, 272, 1385, 7936, 50,521. The first few values of zinc are 1, 1, 2, 4, 10, 32, 122, 544, 2770, 15872, 101042. The Euler zigzag numbers are related to Entringer numbers, from which the zigzag numbers may be computed. The NTH zigzag number is equal to the Entringer number E, and these Entringer numbers can be defined recursively as follows. The numbers A2N with even indices are called secant numbers or zig numbers. The first few values are 1, 1, 5, 61, 1385, 50,521. They appear as numerators in the Maclaurin series of sec x. Specifically, secant numbers are related to Euler numbers by the formula E2n equals Na2n. Correspondingly, the numbers A2n plus 1 with odd indices are called tangent numbers or zag numbers. The first few values are 1, 2, 16, 272, 7936. They appear as numerators in the Maclaurin series of tan x. Specifically, tangent numbers are related to Bernoulli numbers by the formula for n greater than 0. Adding these series together gives the exponential generating function of the sequence and Andre's theorem. In some contexts, one defines the terms alternating permutation and reverse alternating permutation so that the former arrangements of the set 1, 2, 3, n into a sequence A1 and satisfying and the latter satisfy equals 1. This proof is due to Andre and also appears in Stanley. See also this preprint by Stanley. The principal combinatorial result that we need is this identity. The proviso that n1 is crucial. A proof of this combinatorial identity runs as follows. To choose an alternating or reverse alternating permutation of the set 1, 2, 3, n, n plus 1, we choose a subset of size k of the set 1, n, then choose a reverse alternating permutation a1, a of the set 1, k, then Choose a reverse alternating permutation B1, Bn minus K of the set K plus 1, N. Then the permutation is either alternating or reverse alternating. 
the number of ways to choose a permutation of 1, 2, 3, n, n plus 1, that is either alternating or reverse alternating is 2 n plus 1, and the number of ways to complete the sequence of steps above is this needs to be done for each possible value of k to get a complete list. Hence we sum from k equals 0 to k equals n. This completes the proof of the identity. Multiplication of both sides of by x n plus 1, and summing over n 1, and then prepending the constant in first degree terms, yields differentiating both sides. We get in the last sum. The index n goes from 1 to infinity, not from 0 to infinity. If we change the lower bound of summation from 1 to 0, we simply add 1 to the sum, and compensate by changing the initial term, 2e1 equals 2, 2e1 equals 1. Getting the last sum is over all pairs of positive integers, so the expression above can be rearranged as the expression does not change as j goes from 0 to infinity, hence it can be pulled out of the inside sum. Getting now the second sum does not change as i goes from 0 to infinity, hence it can be pulled out of the outer sum. Getting this is consequently we have a differential equation this can be solved by separation of variables. Getting we have an initial condition f equals 1, so we have finally... A standard tangent half-angle trigonometric identity gives us this completes the proof of André's theorem. Citations. Carrot Jessica Miller, J.A. Sloan, Neil E. Young, A New Operation on Sequences. The Bustrufied and Transform, J. Combinatorial Theory, Series A 76-44-54. Carrot Weistein, Eric W. Entringer number, from Mathworld A Wolf from Web Resource, http colon slash slash mathworld.wolfram.com slash entringer number dot html.